Yeah, I don't know where she is, guys, but I'm sure she says she loves you and stuff. The cat, no. I don't think the cat loves you. The cat loves me. She doesn't understand love. Yes, she does. She understands food and sleep and... No, they say if when cats... When cats, like, slow blink at you, like, if they do that thing where they really slowly blink, that's, like, a sign of affection. That's, that's strange. That's, like, the cat equivalent of blowing you a kiss. See, that, that's, that's, that, we're, stre- I think that's stretching. We're, we're just trying to convince ourselves little bastards love us to make it all worthwhile. She does love me. <laughs> so, we have... A fuck bunch of weird. We we normally have weird shit on the show, obviously. But it's kind of what we do. Yeah, but this week is just. Th- th- there's a lot of baffling going on. I'm not gonna lie. I I have been baffled quite a bit. Baffled. baffled. I'm getting my flummoxed, perplexed, confused. Confuzzled. Yeah. That's mine. I made it up. Anyway. Each week, Catherine and the Radio Dead Air audience go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit. We get back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Okay. America's got a problem crazy. with it. Right now. We're, I'm it's crazy it's we're running out of fossil fuels, or we have so them and they're burning. Lady nasty shit and we have coal plumes and we have it's just sucks so we're trying solar and you'd think solar would be the solution it would be our salvation right there she is there she is (laughs) you would like to think yes well chalk chalk went up for unintended consequences um and I'm sorry, I'm a horrible person because this headline made me laugh because I visualized it and I couldn't stop laughing. And I'm a oh horrible no. person. Yeah, you said, you said, oh no. Oh no. Birds bursting into flames over state of the art solar plant. Oh, poor birdies. Workers at the -the state-of-the-art solar plant in the Mojave Desert have a name for birds that fly over the plant's concentrated sun rays. Streamers for the smoke (laughs) plume that comes from the birds that ignite in midair. Federal wildlife investigators who visited Bright Source Energy Plant last year and watched as birds burned and fell, reporting an average of one streamer every two minutes urging California officials to halt the operation's application to build a still bigger version. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, because all I'm imagining is like this old Looney, Tune cartoon, Lo- Looney Tunes cartoon. Is it just like from the reflection? Yes, from the reflection of the concentrated heat from the, from the, uh, the solar gatherers. So this is kind of the sky equivalent of burning ants with a magnifying yes, glass. Yes, yes, it's only it's backwards. And I'm, I know I'm, I'm laughing about it, but just it's, it's because I'm imagining the old Looney Tunes cartoons <laughs> where they'd have the bird flying and then it would get like, you know, fires and then just be like a cooked turkey flying through the sky. You remember those? That's, that's what I'm, I can't stop picturing yeah. it. <laughs> now you're picturing it. We've gone surface to air on birds. I know! And they don't know what's we're, happening. We're shooting those poor little fuckers out of the sky. <laughs> That's what you get for pooping on my car. <laughs> they don't mean it. J.M. Sure. The smell must be awful, but it must be fun to watch. <sighs> oh. It's like the world's biggest bug zapper. I know, and I can't. I should laugh because it's horrible. But the mental picture is just too funny. Birds and technology just don't mix, man. 
Oh, wasn't thinking- there? I don't know if it was an urban legend or not, but supposedly the Large Hadron Collider, which is going to kill us all, yeah. was disabled by a bird dropping a crust of bread into a vital fan, which, like, that's just that's just God's way of being like, stop, humans, <laughs> stop, cease and desist. I have sent, I have sent nature to stop you with bread. With bread, how how much more Jesus can you get than that? I just this is <laughs> all right. What I'm thinking is, now that we've determined it could fry birds in the air, the the Pentagon is probably looking at this and going, hmm. Weaponized sunlight? Sure, maybe when we get into the war with the vampires. (laughs) Oh. Just, I, I, just, that's fucking fantastic. It's wasn't that this was actually a plot point in did you ever see the movie Sunshine? No. Oh my god, it's such a good movie. And not just because my sweet Babu is in it. He is. But that's not why it's a good movie. It's um Danny Boyle directed it, the guy who did Slum Dog Millionaire before he did Slum Dog Millionaire. Um and it's about a crew flying a spaceship into the sun to to shoot a nuke into the sun to reignite it because the sun's going out. You kind of just have to go with the premise. <laughs> it sounds insane to say it like that, but it's yeah, a it, it does thing. sound a little crazy. And one of the plot points is, of course, they have to go outside to make repairs to the ship, and they have these reflector panels that just burn shit up, and you know, it's a good movie. You guys should see it. I don't think it's on Netflix, unfortunately. So our ne- our next one you found today earlier, and a couple people sent it to me as well. Uh oh. And, you know, I have seen, when I was at high school, I saw kids get sent home for shit that made sense. This one made me really mad. But, I didn't find it. Other people found it and sent it to me, if it's the one I'm thinking of. This this doesn't make a damn bit of sense to me. Of all the fuck, it's like, of all the fucking things to send a kid home over... Redhead sent home for distracting hair color. Haley Buck never made it to her homeroom on her first day of school. She was sent home for distracting her fellow students with her hair. I've never had anybody come come up to me and say, maybe you shouldn't have this color, or do you think that's a bad color? Haley, 16, told NBC. Muscle Shoals, Alabama is an hour and 20 minutes out west of Huntsville. Uh, Mary Waxel from WAFF uh, first reported the story August 7th. Her mom, Kim Boyd, was surprised when she got the call to come and pick up her daughter. Nothing was ever said last year. Never got any calls, never sent home, anything saying it had to be changed up until today. She's an A&B student and a member of the marching band. And apparently, what the fuck? Really? And here's the thing. If you look at this girl's hair, it's basically like if you took a picture of me, brought it into Photoshop and pumped up the saturation. Yeah, that's this girl's hair. So I take serious offense to this because this is what I was born with. So fuck you. You going to send me home? The first thing I thought was, do teachers have quotas now? It's like cops with tickets. Yeah, like, do they have they to just send looking for shit to send people home for? Like what exactly? It's weird because it's not even it's not like she has neon green hair. No, it's like, like it's a slightly more saturated version of an actual hair color. You know. It's not the middle fucking ages. She's not a witch. Fucking relax. I feel like this isn't the actual issue. Like this was a teacher that had a problem with this girl and just found a reason. They found a stupid reason. Yes, extremely. You would expect teachers to be smarter in their bullshit. They're teachers. Didn't we, didn't we just do a bit on educational administrators yeah. who couldn't tell the difference between homophone uh, yeah. and homophone? homophone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, I don't expect that anymore, really. 
Just, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. And, man, if I was that kid's parents, I would be raising hell right now. Yep. Because I have seen kids sent home for... The big one when I was a kid was the Confederate flag shirts in South Carolina. Oh, they loved yeah. them some Confederate flag shirts. See, we didn't have that up there. We had, um, we weren't allowed to wear hats in my high school, and you weren't allowed to wear your coat around the school because kids would conceal weapons. Uh. They conceal weapons under the coat or like a blade under the hat. So you couldn't wear your coat around school, it had to be in your locker, and you couldn't wear a hat. So you'd get sent home if you fucked around with that too much. Did they think you were concealing weapons under the hats? Kids would. They would Little put straight razors. In the hats. Under a baseball cap, yeah, kids would. That's some prison shit right there. Long Island. How are you alive? Um, tough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, you know what it was? I was, um, I was the baton twirler, so people thought that was cute. That you could so. break, you, you could kneecap a fucker with those. All right, I we have seen many ways people have tried to make money illegally on this show. Did you just hear that? Yeah, I know. She's like, she gallops like California fucking chrome. She weighs eight pounds. Sorry, go on. <laughs> we see lots of different schemes. This one is probably kind of the saddest, and both. I think this is the saddest and stupidest. Peoria man laundered two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of Legos. What? Phoenix police say they've broken up an elaborate Lego toy theft operation. More than two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of Legos were found in the garage of, garage of a Peoria home. Uh, authorities. What? <laughs> Already spent 10 hours on Friday taking the toys out by the truckload. Valley realtor Troy Kohler, 40, had been arrested, now faced an assortment of criminal charges. Police believe that Kohler was buying expensive Lego sets at a discount from shoplifters, then reselling the items on the internet. Did I miss something? Can you snort Lego? Can you smoke Lego? Why is there an underground... Why is there a black market for Lego? Black black market Legos? Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ! That's still just little fucking bricks you build shit with, right? Like, they haven't... Yes! ...weaponized it or made it a drug. And everybody in the channel is, of course, going, Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team, except when you get arrested! There's a black market for Legos. There's a black market for Legos. Like, my nephew that I live with is into some fucking Lego. He is into his Lego. He is the kind that you can build robots and program them, and Lego has come a long way. I can't really ever see us going illegal to I, get him, like, contraband Lego. I, it's fucking Lego. Just, this guy is going to jail, and this is news. So when he gets to jail, everybody's going to know what he's in for. Lego. And that's not something you want to be known for in that's jail. That's a lot of Lego. That is a lot of Lego. Because, like, even the really ridiculous expensive sets are, like, 100 bucks. Oh, D.A. Scott Jr. said, this guy just got block blocked. That's a lot of Lego. That is a lot. Because what are you going to... <sighs> and they're not just... I want you to look here. I'm going I'm to put this what up. What they should really do to this guy, let the punishment fit the crime. What con was it that they had the Lego firewalk? Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. They had like 10 feet of just Lego and you had to walk it barefoot. That's what should happen to this guy. I'm, I'm going to put this up on the base screen here because it's, it's not just those little boxes. It's the great big ones too. So someone was going into the store and bringing out these giant Lego fucking kits. 
Like, I think that's that's a that's an Imperial Walker in the background, and that's a B-Wing, and there's some of that Ninjago stuff. There's some big shit there. How are they shoplifting that stuff? Well, did he say some of it was bought with a discount? No, no, no. What he would do, what they would do is he, they'd go into Toys R Us, they'd steal the shit, they'd bring it to him, he'd buy it cheap off them, oh. and then sell it online. So yeah, how are you stealing these enormous things? Well, there are methods. Like, we, we covered the people that use their baby strollers to steal. Yeah. There's always the trick if you're at the Walmart to, like, use the bottom cart on the shopping cart. And just throw your coat over it so they don't think you have anything down there. People steal, like, 12 packs of soda that way. Do you, do you think they were just, like, kind of, the, uh, the criminals involved in this were just kind of ashamed of it? They didn't want to tell anybody? You know? If they're making money, they're not ashamed of shit. Yo, man, I'm big on Legos, man. That is bank. Paying my bills with the bricks. No, I don't see that. I really don't see that. <sighs> fat stacks and bright bricks. Well, speaking of fat stacks, and God, I hate this article because the picture. Really, this I think this is all they could find for the stock photo on this one. But um, we've seen all sorts of horrible smuggling methods, all sorts, horrible, horrible ways. This one made me cringe. And ladies, I apologize because it's going to make you cringe, too. And it's not what it's not what you think. Woman. We did something like this once before. This, this isn't the first time we've had something like this. It's happened again? This is like the second time we've had this. And this is, like, uh, this is August 16th. So this is... this is a Woman caught trying to smuggle 1.7 kilos of cocaine in breast implants. People who are in countries with same systems of measurement. How many pounds to a kilo? So I know how much shit was in her tits. And apparently, yeah, December 12th, December 2012, a Panamanian woman arrived in Barcelona with 1.4 kilos in her fake press. And now here we are again. Didn't these people see Lucy? <sighs> that shit could leak and turn you into a superhuman. <laughs> Actually, that would be kind of <laughs> awesome. But still. Oh my God. Generally, it's a bad idea to put these types of drugs into your body anyway. in large doses by ingesting them. It's a worse idea. It's a much worse idea to put them into your body in large quantities yes. by fucking stuffing them in that's two, to your person. Two and a, that's almost two and a quarter pounds of 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 oh my god. In your tits? No, no, wait. Three. Three and three quarters pounds. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of blow. Um, during like, I'm not going to say you really desperately need them unless you're feeding a child. But they're not something you want. Like, there's no part of your body that you really want rotting off. <laughs> Even in the superfluous bits. Like, do you need an earlobe? No. Do you want it to rot off? No. Well. If you're not nursing children with them, your tits are kind of superfluous, admittedly. That doesn't mean they're right, expendable. Right! During a check of pastors on a plane from Bogota, the gestures and behavior of a supposed tourist raised the suspicion of narcotics agents. <laughs> After a baggage cert revealed nothing, uh, female officers conducted a body search with a 43-year-old woman and discovered certain irregularities and deformations in both breasts. <laughs> Okay, so they weren't just implants, they were bad implants. Well, it's not like they were silicone implants. They were they stuffed with cocaine. Cause that doesn't have a natural texture. When you're to when, it. when your tits go to to concave, you know? That's Yeah. And that's not subtle. They're gonna notice that shit. That's not a thing that happens. Tits what don't invert just, themselves. What happened to just swallowing it? Yeah. 
What happened to just stuffing a condom full of drugs, swallowing it, and then pooping it out at the other side? I know, it's like, okay, we have two options for you. You can either swallow the cocaine condoms, or we can cut your boobs open and stuff it in there. I would take the swallowing the condoms. Condoms break. Yeah, so obviously this was much safer. (laughs) <laughs> have never, ever in the history of the world been known to break or leak. Bridget, what are you doing? Chasing ghosts. What are you doing? She's ghost busted. And why is your collar so loose? You're going to lose another one. It's the goal. She's just going to run around like Superman until she builds up enough speed that the collar burns up. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck? I... Uh, She's literally just running around doing crazy shit. So, so last week we had a teacher who came to school drunk and pantsless. And fortunately, they got her out of there before, you know, she had to deal with any students. Although they right. probably heard all about it. Well, it's another week. Another teacher. And another drunken binge in class. Arizona math teacher arrives drunk to class and keeps drinking. Kathleen Jardine, 57, a teacher at uh, Poston Butte High School, faces one count of public consumption of alcohol stemming from the incident Wednesday. Ramirez said a student called the main office to alert them Jardine appeared drunk and was yelling at the students. Oh, so she's an angry drunk. You sounds ambitious. I have tried you, the fraction shit, for the last time. I am not teaching you again. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Teacher eventually admitted she'd been drinking the night before. The I morning. Did. What? I-, I had a friend once get me drunk and try to teach me physics. Like complex physics. All I remember, we had a lot of wine. And all I remember is something about a rabbit and liquid flowing uphill. Complex concepts and liquor do not mix, is what I'm trying to get at here. Do you want to know how much liquor? Probably not. Jardine's blood alcohol level was 0.205%. When tested, which would be considered so-called, quote, super extreme if she were to drive under the influence of that much alcohol, police said. Do you walk under the influence of that much alcohol? This, however, has got to be the line of the story. And it comes from uh, Pinal County Sheriff Paul uh, Babo. I think that's how you say it. Quote, learning math can be hard enough. I can't imagine trying to learn it from a drunk teacher. (laughs) Math's hard. Let's go drinking. Dude, that's his takeaway on this shit. Really. Oh, oh, there's some great. Well, I mean, you could you could do some stuff like you could teach people. The math of shots and how to divide up the rounds and who pays for this round and how to calculate a bartender's tip. And, you know, there's the equal amount of alcohol on a shot as a glass of wine, as a beer. So you could like figure out the percentage by volume. Like you could do a lot of booze math. Video is video says, kids, I have two bottles of scotch. I will drink two of them in a row. How many do I have left? (laughs) Also, Jardine said uh, she acknowledged taking a taxi to school because she had said it was because she felt too drunk to drive. Well, that's responsible of her. But Jardine may not have had a choice about whether to drive. Her car was impounded on Tuesday in the Phoenix suburb of Gilbert, where she was cited and released for driving under the influence. Well, that's not responsible. My God. Don't drink and divide, people. (laughs) Oh, God, Tara. (sighs) 
Today we're gonna learn fractions. This is a fifth of vodka. Exactly. <laughs> there are ways this can be done. Oh my god. I just <sighs> All right, our last one tonight, we're coming back to Florida. Woohoo! It's, it's from Tampa, Tampa, Florida. And it is a whole mess of crazy. This is just weird. I I I swear to god, I this is th this would be like I don't understand how the Benny Hill theme didn't just start playing while this was happening. Just spontaneously out of thin air. It should, yakety sack. <laughs> like as, as if summoned from on high. Right. Man in woman's underwear crashes into Tampa retirement home. A man oh. wearing a bra and woman's underwear fled from a traffic stop early Tuesday and crashed her car to the side of a Hyde Park retirement home. And you can see that picture. That's a big ass hole. That that that, that is a that's a big ass yeah. hole. That is a very big ass hole. Um, crash happened just after three a.m. at the Tampa Baptist Manor apartment building. Police said the driver Rico Antoine Jones, twenty eight, who has a history of prostitution arrest and goes by the name Diamond, fled while driving a red Mustang after officers tried to stop him for driving the wrong way. Jones continued driving before jumping a curb, crossing a grass yard, cutting through a line of shrubs, and colliding with the building. Jones so showed signs of being impaired. He's not seriously injured. When he crashed, he was wearing a woman's underwear, bra, and high heels. He climbed out of the wreckage and tried to run before he was subdued by arriving officers. I object to the phrasing collided with the building. The word collision... <laughs> implies that both bodies are moving. When you think of things colliding, you think of them moving towards each other. I'm pretty fucking sure that building wasn't moving. Well, honestly, the entire isn't the entire planet moving? I mean, yes, we're all revolving around the, the sun. of the earth. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that building was yeah, stationary it's body not, at rest. It's not going anywhere. No. I just, so I think, just grammatically, we should have gone with a different word. He, and I know that's nitpicking, but, you know. It's just, he, uh, uh, well, uh, well, you know what? I think it's kind of fortunate it's a retirement home because, okay. one, nobody was hurt, and two, nobody probably heard it. <laughs> I, I'm willing to bet that, you know, fucking car went through the building and everybody was just like, eh, eh, fuck it. Of course, one like guy another, who was in NOM is, is having flashbacks, but everybody else is, is fine. Another, another case of compounding the error. Right, you're already We're driving... Kind of tangled up in the cord, sweetie. You're already driving drunk and the wrong way. That's, that's when you fold. That's when you cash in your chips, say, my give up. I mean, if he had previous arrests, it would stand to reason that he was trying to avoid. Maybe there's a three strike thing at work here. I don't know, but you didn't work. You didn't. You didn't get there. That's that's not when you go hit me. You don't yeah, double you, down on that shit. You in fact, made it all an awful lot worse. I'm kind of impressed he was able to run in high heels. That's really hard. That's 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 harder than you think. Because chicks in action movies seem to be able to do it with ease, but it's harder than it looks, actually. But man, oh my god. And you know, if anybody woke up and looked outside, these poor old people. I know. Like, what? They're suddenly just... This guy's going, yep, it's finally blown out up there. <laughs> That's it. Dementia, full on. <laughs> Finally, happened. and there's one, and there's one little old lady who's just like, "Oh, my son-in-law must be visiting again." <laughs> I told her when she married him, he can't drive. <laughs> it's not a very good driver, honey. Ah, oh, goddamn. I mean, just... can you hear her purring? No. She's a loud purr. Okay, now I kind of hear it. I don't know if they hear it on the stream, but I kind of hear it. 
And now she's on the keyboard. No. Oh. She's just whapping with her tail. So, yeah, I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is know when to fold them. There she is. Hi. Yeah. Know when to walk away and know when, know when not to gun it through the wall of a retirement home. <laughs> I don't think there's ever a good occasion for that. I, I really can't think of any time that that's what you want to do. We, we learned that it is possible for a human being to have a blood alcohol level of 0.205. And live to tell the tale. I'm going to take the keyboard away from you since you're sitting on the desk. That's pretty impressive. You can't see her. She's... This is what's happening right now. <laughs> She's right on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cat broke the stream. Sarah? Are you there? Yes. Okay, the cat kind of no. broke. Uh, there you are. There you are. Kitty and I are here. She's still here. Hi. <laughs> Am I famous? Will you send me chicken? All I'm thinking right now is 10! Ten, 10 shots of vodka! Ah, 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 ah. How fun would that be, though, if the Count was drunk all the time? You mean he's not? <laughs> well, that's true. We don't have proof of that, I suppose. Although, you know the kids in that class were like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> we learned that if you are given the choice, there are better ways to smuggle things than in your tits. For the love of God, don't just put... Stuff in your tits. Don't put stuff in your tits. These don't, are don't let don't let people cut thing cut you up and put things in you in general. It's this is idea. things we have to say. Don't put she things in your tits. Fuck's sake! Don't put things in your tits. We learned that there is an illegal market for anything. Lego. The Lego cartels are slowly taking over. I bet there's like black market ring pops and shit. And the thing is, when you piss off the Lego cartel, they don't shoot you. They just cover the floor of your house with those motherfuckers. <laughs> walk, bitch, walk! They don't put a horse head in your bed. They just cover the floor of your house with pieces. And watch you suffer. And yeah, oh my god, that'd be a horrible thing to do. Someone's asleep. Just put everything around their bed. Hey, kids, great idea for a home project. While your roommate's asleep, cover the floor of his room with Legos. He'll thank you for it. <laughs> and then they just are trapped forever. We've learned that there, there are legitimate reasons to send someone home from school. Red hair is not one of them. Gingerism. Gingerism will not be tolerated. Seriously, I've never quite understood that whole hair color. If she had blue hair, what the fuck? Who cares? I know. How is that disruptive? Gen oh my god, it's a different fucking... My brain can't... It's colors. Like, is the ADB that bad? Are the kids literally in school now like, Squirrel! <laughs> squirrel! And of course, we learned that solar power is not as harmless as we thought. No... We're, we're shooting birds out of the goddamn sky. And you see, you can't help but laugh either. That's the horrible thing. We're smiting birds from the ground. We're fucking nuking fucking birds. And yet, I can't stop giggling about it. We're birds. <laughs> You're trying. No, 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 no. Don't backpedal. You're laughing like I am. But it's sad, though. I just see, like, one of those V-formations going over and just... Oh. <laughs> it's the, the goose... Ones that make it are like, what happened to Jerry? <laughs> they got Jerry, man. The goose, goose cooks... The goose cooks itself. Goose. <laughs> goose. 
if I if I knew Top Gun better, I'd be making so many jokes right yeah. now. 